Why do I look like that? I got back from a little trip to Melbourne last night. And so this morning I have slept in until 10 a.m. <laughs> I think I woke up at like 8 maybe. And then I've just stayed in bed playing with Winston. Scrolling on my phone. Because that is just kind of how I feel like I need to recoup and rejuvenate. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things to do. Staying in bed after I wake up. <laughs> and when I go away, the biggest thing that I miss is my bed and Winston. So this morning has really just filled my cup up already. But I thought I would dedicate today and this video to getting back on track back into routine i kind of hate the like toxicity of those sayings like getting back on track and like being all in or all out and i'm not a very routine person i don't do the same thing day in and day out and i really like my life that way but i just want to reset my life a little bit today i have so much washing to do i have a lot of cleaning to do some decluttering some work you know just getting home from a trip and getting things sorted kind of day and hopefully because i'm filming this video it'll encourage me to like get everything done today and so i I can start tomorrow as if I've been home this whole time and everything is in order and everything is neat and tidy. That's my thought process right now. <laughs> I do feel like half of the day is gone already because as I said it's 10 a.m. but getting up and we're making the most of the day. I'm gonna get up, make my bed, open my blinds, let some light in, put some clothes on <laughs> and make some breakfast. Did you miss being on the vlog? I missed you so much. Ow! Good morning! <laughs> one thing about me it's that I hate doing laundry like hate with a passion if there was one thing that I miss about living at home was my mom doing my washing and like leaving a neat folded pile on my bed of clothes to put away I let it pile up I don't do it enough like I wish I was one of those people who did like a couple loads of washing a week because then it's just so much more manageable and you're not putting away like three baskets full of washing you're just putting away a little bit at a time maybe I will try to become one of those people but naturally I'm not <laughs> most of this washing isn't even from my trip it's from the for my trip so i really hate that for me also that's my brother's washing not mine so alex sorry for exposing you all of my daddy washings in my room instead i'm gonna put a load on now does my camera look funny right now and while that load of washing is on i'm gonna have breakfast tidy up the kitchen a little bit put away some packages i got this package was waiting for me when i got home from Reefa since Briefer. Handmade candles made in Sydney from a beautiful subscriber called Lauren. Firstly, look how big this jar is. And it has a wood wick candle, which I've never had before, but these are the wicks that like make the fire crackly sound. And it smells like grape bubble gum. And I'm very excited to put it somewhere in my house. There's a bit going on in my kitchen at the moment, so let's get that sorted. <laughs> and I have just come out for our little midday walk. These are honestly some of my favorite hours of the day. We walk down to our local coffee shop. I grab a coffee. We walk back. We normally stop at the dog park so that he can run around and play. Obviously, like, do whatever you want with your dog, but I don't really feel comfortable taking Winston to a dog park when there's other dogs there. I've just heard some really scary things and I'm not really up for it. But most of the time during the day, this dog park is completely empty. It's normally very busy before people go to work and then after people come home from work. So... We normally spend an hour or so here, like midday-ish, early afternoon, and it's just so nice. I love getting out, getting some fresh air, getting some sunshine, and obviously Winston does too. We've been playing fetch for a bit, but he got kind of over it, so he's just around sniffing. I saw this TikTok once that was saying that when dogs are sniffing things, it's like them scrolling through social media, and I just think of that every time, and so whenever Winston's smelling things, I'm like, honestly, you do you, because I get it. Like, I, I get it. Winston has to sit around while I scroll through social media, so like, I should do the same. 
you know. I also just really am one of those people who is constantly thinking about their dog 24 seven. And I feel like my whole life revolves around Winston and making sure that he's living a good life every single day, which is probably so dramatic. And I should probably care a little bit less because it's not super healthy, but bringing him to the dog park where he can just run around, sniff, do whatever he wants, like makes me feel like he is living a good life. And that makes me feel like I'm being a good mom. So that's what we're doing right now. Hey buddy. Are you having fun? I've also said this in quite a few of my videos recently, but I've been falling a little bit out of love with the gym. I'm trying to get to the bottom of like why I feel like that and how I can combat it because I do really love weightlifting, but I just, I don't know what's going on inside my head right now. But in saying that, I love walking. I feel like it is just such a nice, gentle way for you to move your body. And if I don't walk at least once a day, I am not a nice person. It is not a good time for anyone involved. So this is your reminder to go out and take a walk because you need to. Also, you can probably tell I'm fiddling with it 24 seven. I am not a necklace wearer, but I'm trying to convince myself to be one. I always just think that it makes my face and neck just not, it's just not flattering on me. I feel like because I have a very round chubby face, necklaces like accentuate that sometimes, but I'm just trying to convince myself to wear it. So I've been wearing this one for like a week now. It's from Jazz Handmade, has a little flower on it and I've got little matching earrings as well. And I just feel like it's a little cute matchy moment. I do have a necklace like extender on it to make it a little bit longer because I feel like if it's too short, then it definitely makes my face look extra chubby. This all could just be in my head. Cool, he's literally barking at someone a kilometer away. Oi! I thought someone was just about to enter the dog park with me talking to myself. Anyway, I'm actually in my outfit actually while I'm here. Is this giving you George Richards like 2016 vibes? Cause it's, it's giving me flashbacks. This is my dog park fit. I'm wearing Gymshark paws, which is just elite. And then I just have this Princess Polly flannel on over the top. sitting on my bed doing a bit of life admin I booked my car in for a service paid a bunch of bills you know really fun adulting stuff it's now hit 5 p.m. and I've decided that I need to mow the lawn and Alex is home for once so he's gonna we deed and I'm gonna mow and then I think I'm gonna have a shower hop into bed and continue doing more life admin because I have more to do I have invoices to send reconciling to do accounting things to do <sighs> The day is not done but I already feel so much more on top of my life which is a very good feeling hi you gonna don't lick me in the eye. Give me conjunctivitis. <laughs> Good boy. All right, let's mow. I need some energy. tonight so i've just been hibernating in my room hiding from everyone all night i've just been watching Grey's anatomy i said i was gonna be productive and i didn't do anything productive <laughs> but after such a big productive day i feel like it's fine to wind down in bed <laughs> and not keep working i feel like this is an unpopular opinion but i do quite enjoy working in my bed i know it's not good but i am very productive while being comfortable and like my bed is just my happy place like i'm i'm the happiest when i'm in bed while i was doing my washing and like cleaning the house today i've been listening to the what we said podcast i'm very new to it and it's been going for like four years now so i've just been listening to every episode they've ever done really it's run by jay-z and chelsea and they are just two best friends sitting and chatting about sometimes important things sometimes not important things and it's just besties sitting down and chatting and you just feel like you're sitting in the room laughing and chatting with them and i love it so much rachel's been telling me to listen to their podcast for years and i for some reason just never listened and now i am obsessed and i understand the hype i've spoken about this
this in a couple of my videos but i feel like i'm going through a very big transition in my life right now kind of just growing and learning and while i don't really have much to say on the topic because i'm still not really quite sure what my thoughts and feelings are jc in particular talks about it a lot on the podcast and her basically kind of going through the same thing obviously like a little bit different but if you've heard me talk about that in my recent videos and want to hear more about it i feel like she just speaks about it so well and explains it so well and she'll say things and i'm like okay my thoughts are all so jumbled and so confused but you've just somehow put into words exactly what i'm thinking so i'll try and remember to link their podcast down below if you want to have a listen i just feel like it's really helping me one feel not alone in what i'm going through and two helps me to better understand what i'm actually thinking um without being like persuaded in any direction if that makes sense as i said i've been watching Grey's anatomy i'm up to season 11 episode 14 which i just feel like is so far like i don't think i started that long ago and i am already on season 11 i still have so many seasons to go but i'm loving it i do feel like something bad is about to happen and i'm a little bit scared about it i got a spoiler i don't want to say anything because i don't want to spoil it for anyone else just in case it's so hard with shows that came out so long ago because obviously there's going to be spoilers everywhere but like people don't think they're spoilers because the show's been around for so long so i get it however i was very 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 late to watching the show um and so i have had a lot of things spoiled for me most of the things that have been spoiled have happened already apart from one of them and i'm so scared for it to happen and i just like have a feeling it's coming soon but i equally could be so incredibly wrong you can't know you can't know <laughs> But all the jobs that I have left for tomorrow is to bring in all my washing and put that away and do my grocery shopping, which I feel pretty good about. So I'm pretty happy with today's little reset video. The house is clean, all my washing is washed, my suitcase is unpacked, everything's put away, my suitcase is back in my cupboard. I washed my bedding just before I went away. So everything is just funky fresh and I'm feeling so good. So thanks for keeping me company while I do the boring mundane tasks of life and make it a little bit more fun. I also know this video is quite random and it's just me <laughs> chatting about cleaning all day but i really enjoyed myself so <laughs> that's all that really matters but i'm gonna love you and leave you i love you so much and i will see you in my next video in the very near future bye